Hello, everybody. It is Lisa Brown, Brown Hot Girls Crafting. And I'm still just a little bit hoarse, but I'm a lot better than I was last week. What to make hops on here? And I want to show you something that we all got as a gift from Tracy. Hey, Delilah. Hopefully, everybody can hear me. I'm a little hoarse still. Hey, Janet. Let me show you this. This is one thing that Tracy made that she gave each of the crafters that showed up this cute little necklace. Let's see if you can see that right there. right there. I think you can see it. This little necklace that she gave us. And they are just the cutest things ever. Hey, Tracy. Hey, Terry. Let me get this back on here. Hope everybody can hear me okay. I'm still just kind of in and out a little bit. It's just the way it's going to be for a couple of days, I guess. I, ooh, I'm on that out of Mod Podge. Let me see if I've got another container here. I don't think I do. I've got a gallon jug out in the building. I guess I'll probably have to go out and get it tomorrow and refill my container. Okay, I went out in my building and I found this right here that I bought. I want to say I got it at a Goodwill. <coughs> it's just a frame with an open back right there. And we're going to paint over this. And we're going to either, we're going to put one of these two calendars on it. I'm not for sure which one I'm going to do just yet. I have this one. <coughs> Excuse me. This one right here. And then I have this one. <coughs> Excuse me. I think I'm going to do this one right here. The more I look at it, I think this is the one I want to do. Except those right there. <coughs> Everybody wants the truck. Hey, everybody. Let me see if I brought up enough ribbon for the truck. I can, probably could use... Oh, thanks for sprinkling, everybody. Thank you, guys. Okay. Hey, Andrea. Hey, Sharon. I brought up more of a green... I can use that one. We'll just go ahead and do the truck. It is fall, after all. Well, they're all fall. <clears throat> yeah, but I just wanted to say that rhyme. <laughs> you just want to say that rhyme. Okay, let me see if I got some white paint here. We're gonna hey, paint, Rita. We're going to paint part of this board white, because you can see where my granddaughters have marked on it. Hey, Chesida. We're going to put just a little bit of paint on it, just to cover up around the edges. Hey, Doris. Hopefully, I've got enough paint here. But as soon as we started to get into Tennessee, we noticed that the uh, cedar trees were different than what we have here. And I started getting hoarse. Hey, Andrea Ross. To where I completely lost my voice. Hey, Carol. Hey, Charlotte. Thanks uh, for sprinkling, everybody. But it is slowly coming back. I went to the... Uh, doctor today and got my blood redrawn and then I went and had my finger checked out and we're going to go ahead and do surgery on it and the surgery is going to be like a little 10 minute procedure. It's nothing really major. Kathy Van Zant, first time watching from Wisconsin. Hey Kathy Van Zant. And uh, I told him what I, I'm doing now for, my, for a living and I told him it's getting harder and harder to manipulate stuff. So we're going to go ahead and take care of my trigger finger. Thank you, Cindy. Take Thank care of my Virgie. trigger finger. I'm going to go ahead and just dry brush some white around this. This has got a black edge, and we're just going to dry brush it. We'll let some of that come through. Hey, Ruby. Hang on to this real quick. I want to keep just what I've got in my brush here and just... Thank you, Sharon. We love those thumbs up and hearts and the, all that stuff. Go around the edges right here. Hey, Tina Schaefer. It's pretty much, a t looks like it's about a 12 by 12 square. Let me kind of go over that green a little bit with some white. Sherry Patterson, she is not rested up. No, I haven't rested at all. 
Well, no, I take that back. I did sleep in. Well, we even slept in a little Monday, bit Monday, but I slept in a little bit today. Hey, Michelle. Okay, I'm gonna just try to go around my edges here because we're gonna distress the edge of that calendar sheet. I oh. had the best time this last week. Uh, let me tell you what, these ladies, they're just as nice in person as you, well, actually they're nicer. This isn't gonna sound right because I don't mean it like this. They are just, they are more sweet in person as you could even imagine how they are on Facebook. They surpass your expectations. Yes, very much so. Um, it was a, a dream come true to meet all these 14 women. Hey Mary, hey Robin. Yeah, I can still see just a little bit. This might take Jessica two cups. Jessica received her Texas sign, and she loves it. Oh, great, Jessica. I'm glad you got it. I forgot to turn this on. <clears throat> yeah, she's, she's still got a little bit of a frog in the throat kind of thing going on. Yeah. It's one of those things that you just lose your voice. It takes a while to get back. Hey, Cookie. Hey, Cookie. I just sent you that picture you're wanting. See here, let's get this a little, little more up here. Ah, uh, Sherry, I had a, a good time meeting you too. Yeah, and I'm I'm doing pretty good. Thank you for asking. Appreciate that. I think this is going to take another coat, and I think I need to grab some chalk paint because this uh, acrylic paint's just not cutting it. Thank you, Leona. With a little more grit. Hey, Ellen, Pat, Terry. <laughs> She's in. It won't be long, and we're, we're getting ready to start the. Uh, the word of encouragement back up. Okay. I'm going to just go ahead and get some of this acrylic paint cause, because the um, multi-surface paint I have here just didn't cut the this design underneath here. So let's put another coat over it. Didn't give you very good coverage? No, not at all. It probably needs a good two coats. How do you hey, clean? Cindy Butler. Oh, I'm sorry. She said, how do you clean your stencils? Also, can you do them on shirts? Uh, yes, you can ink on t-shirts with the Magnolia stencils. If you go back and you look, Cindy, is that Cindy that asked? Cindy Whoever? Butler. Cindy, go back to about uh, last summer. I uh, use those stencils on a lot of um, onesies for my grandson. I need to make some more up here. I may do another video here soon. Let me order some onesies in his size and make a couple. And if you go to my page, I have a page called uh, Brown Eyed Girls with Magnolia Designs. If you go look on that page, I did some here back when I had my Magnolia party. Which we are going to have another mystery hostess party here soon. I'm just hey, waiting Tabitha. for a couple more things to get back in stock. Hey, Melody. Okay. No, I didn't you. hear, but sounds like you cleaned up, Robin. All Robin Christensen's ribbon she won at the fair. Oh, wow. That's great, Robin. Brenda wants to know what Magnolia is. Magnolia is a reusable stencil. Here's one right here. That you can either use chalk, paste for magnolia, or you can use their inks. They're easy to clean up. They're easy to use. And I have several videos where I have used a magnolia design. In fact, I'll share one tonight where I uh, used one recently. I'll share the video. Hey, Diane, we are making a... Dollar Tree 
calendar sign off of a Goodwill find. Everything yeah, that pumpkin is really cute. Everything said, I received the pumpkin set and came for me. Love it. And I got my pig Christmas shirt. <laughs> Thank oh, you so great. much. <laughs> okay, now right here I've just went around the edges because this calendar, I don't think you're going to be able to see through it. No, you're not going to see through it at all. And it is just a little bit long. And we're going to distress the edges of this. Crystal wants to, Crystal Barefoot wants to hear about your trip and your pup and your sister's puppy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, let me tell you, we had fun. She had two uh, female Dotsons. <clears throat> hey, we met up with um, one family in Knoxville. That night that we left, we left, gosh, what, about 5 o'clock in the morning? And we got to Knoxville about 7-ish, and we called the, fam the family. They actually were from um, somewhere in Virginia, closer to Lynchburg, Virginia. And they drove, and they had been there overnight, this mother and her son and daughter. And they uh, got one of them. And then... The next morning, we drove up to uh, Dry Ridge. It's just north of Williamstown. And we um, met up with the other family. And so we got both puppies delivered. Cute little puppies, little dots, mini Dotsons. And then we went over to see the Ark. We didn't get to go to the museum. We didn't have time. But we did go to the Ark. I think I'm going to go ahead and paint this, put it on this, and then try to get that on. I was going to do the opposite way, but I think I'm going to go this way. Hey, we Debbie. saw the ark, and if you've never seen the replica of Noah's ark, you're missing out. That's something I have been wanting to see since it has been built. And she and I and our friend Andrea all went. And Andrea's online. Yeah, went through it, and... Uh, you just can't even describe the beauty of it. I mean, it's just, it's amazing. That's all I can say. It's, it's absolutely amazing. No, the, the puppy is her sister, Michelle's. Yeah. My sister raises the dogs. I don't raise dogs. She raises these little mini Dotsons, and which we took um, two of them to Hillsboro, uh, Texas the week before. She's already trying to get you lined up for another trip. Yeah, she's trying to get me lined up for another trip. Tomorrow she is taking one to Henrietta, Oklahoma. It's a sibling to the... Oops, I got a little bit too much there. It's a sibling to one of the two that we took. I got some little... Lisa did talk to somebody about a miniature Aussie. Yeah, I did talk to somebody about a, getting a miniature Aussie. Or Ozzadoodle. Ozzadoodle was what it was. Yeah, Ozzadoodle. I really want a Schnauzer, but they are just too expensive. expensive. Oh, my goodness. And Schnoodles is what I really want, and they are too expensive. We okay, had, I'm going to let this sit for just a minute. We had one, and he was the best dog ever, and somebody stole him. Yeah, I stole him. And I'm just going to tear around these edges right here. Because I don't really want a straight, you know, a, a really sharp edge. I want kind of a, a rustic edge. Jackie Miles said, how did you like the Roost and Restore Warehouse? Oh, my gosh. <laughs> I tell you what, Casey is absolutely one of the sweetest people you'll ever meet. And she let us um, go into, she made a little special cell for us and let us go into the uh, warehouse. And we all got to sign a little saying on the studs of her new building because the, the front part is still getting remodeled. Uh, we took a trip down to Anything Goes and that is probably a thrifter's dream, if to say the least. Tomorrow I plan on, tomorrow night I'm not gonna do a craft, but I'm gonna show you everything that I bought while I was out. I didn't buy near what my sister and Andrea bought. Really? <laughs> Believe it or not, I, I didn't. I find that hard to believe. <laughs> but um, <laughs> I'm looking more for things to recraft. I and they were looking hole. for more vintage and antique stuff. Mm, gotcha. 
Hey, Mary Tyle. Hey, I'm just sitting here just tearing pieces of these off. Michelle and, Wachowski said her online store is awesome. Uh, yeah, it is. I can only imagine how wonderful the warehouse is. Yeah, she's got an awesome business. She's been working out of her garage for a while and, you know, no air. And I, I know what that's like. Okay, I'm just getting these sides here torn. Oh, yeah. I tell you what, if you ever go to the Ark, you're not going to regret it one bit. Yes, Brenda, we're in Oklahoma. Northeast Oklahoma. We figured from the time we left here, went to Knoxville, went up to White's, Williamstown, went to Paducah, then back down to Boaz, where anything goes trading is, and then back up to Metropolis a couple times. We Then we went over to Wyndham, Minnesota, and then home. We did right at 3,000 miles. Carrie Crane says, hey, girlfriend. Hey, Carrie. I'm just taking just a little bit off of this because I want to try to get off that little bitty hole that's at the top of the calendar. So I'm just kind of just stressing it a little bit. Uh, no, we are east of Tulsa. We're right on the Arkansas border. Still yeah. well, not still water. <laughs> right, we're about 90 miles. And no, she's not going to show you her haul today. Now, I'm going to come on tomorrow evening and show you everything I bought. Yeah. You'll want to be here tomorrow for sure. Yeah. Now, Andrea, Michelle, and I are going to start up a page that we're trying to get the name down right. But what we plan on doing is I'm going to invite all my my crafting sisters to post in that page of the best flea markets, places to go junkin'. Hey, Jimmy Because Miller. we picked up several business cards of places that we bought some different things that we want to share and help these people keep their business alive, too. Hey, Lynn Andrews. Yay, Morris is here. Hey, Morris. Glad hey, you just made it, buddy. a little bit here. Okay, I've just kind of tore Hello, the edges. <laughs> and I'm going to wait. That's all right, Michelle. Still water and still well are easy to mix up. Oh, believe me, they are. They are. Okay, I'm going to lay this down. That's cool, Brenda. I mean, uh, Brenda. Brenda, yeah, it is Brenda. I saw Donna's name pop up. <laughs> ah. Hey, Donna. That's awesome, Brenda. Okay. We're still going to sand around these edges, but this went down pretty flat. I'm just going to use this pack of post-it notes and go down my edges here. And Morris, we miss you too, bud. Lisa's been out of pocket for about a week, though. But I have talked to Joel, though. She'll be down there at the post office before long with a bunch of packages for you. Yep, Joel here, or Morris here in just a couple days. Okay, I'm making sure I get all my edges up yeah, right Yeah, Teresa, here. her voice is starting to get better a little bit. <laughs> Slowly but surely. And quit calling me Shirley. <laughs> okay, I got a big bulb right here in the middle. Let me see if I can lift this up and move it out. Yeah, it'll help the small business owners, plus it'll give all the crafting brothers and sisters... A places leg, to find. Yeah, a leg up on places to go. Treasure hunting. Okay, I've got some bubbles in here, but I'm going to sand this just a little bit. But we're going to dry it real quick. No, Crystal, I haven't gone through all of my testing uh, just yet. Unfortunately, I still have to do the mental test. <laughs> the psyche valve is going to be the tough one for me. <laughs> I do need to call them, though. <clears throat> I have some things done. Is that say done for tomorrow? No, he's got it. He's just stopped in. He's got to get oh. some things done. Yeah, you've got. Oh, tomorrow's Wednesday. That's right. Joel and Morris have opened up a kind of a diner at our um, what are the. I didn't know they did. Yeah, they took over the diner at um where we saw cattle. Where you sell your cattle? Yeah, in town. Livestock, where we had a stock auction. 
They have, a, they have a cafe in there. Really? Yeah. I didn't know. It's always been in there. Well, I know the cafe's been in there, but I didn't know they're doing it. Yeah, that's that's who's doing it. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna sand on these edges right here because I want to make it at the Stillwell Stockyard. Stillwell Stockyard. Yeah. That's it. I just couldn't get it out. Yeah. Cool. Moe's Creations. Uh, Crystal, Lisa's hand appointment went pretty good. Mm -hmm. um, I didn't get a shot. Didn't get a shot, and they're going to do surgery. And uh, yeah, else? it's it's about a ten minute surgery just to fix it. And it's I would really rather a couple days of downtime, really. About twenty four hour downtime. Well, no, you that's always, what he said. Yeah, you can start moving it. Twenty four hour downtime is what later. he said. Yeah, okay. Okay, I got a little bubble right here. I'm going to try to. Make it a little bitty brush. But needless to say, when he says we're going to do surgery on Monday, you will see me over there on Monday. Right, early. Okay. Got just a little bit right in there. I need to get. Put that down just a little bit. Okay. Then we'll go ahead and stand over the top here. I really want this to look old. I'm just yeah. scraping some of this off. Yeah, Lisa and I'll have to order up some lunch too. Yeah. You might be able to go get it tomorrow. Depends on what time I get out. I'll be out at, uh, should be out about. I should be able to be home by about 1.30, so that's not too yeah. bad. Okay. Debbie Hobbs wants to know, is that a calendar? Yes, it is. It is one of the 2022 calendars. See, I went here and I just sanded hey, anywhere there was a little bubble. I just made made this look a little, a little rustic. Francis Brigman, you made it. I'm going to go ahead and dust it off. Then we're going to put a coat of Mod Podge. Now, take it back. We're going to... Wherever I've got these edges, we're going to put some um, Waverly Wax on it. Let me get a paper towel here. Is it a painful procedure? Um, he said basically they're going to put a little slit right along this curly crease line right here. And it's only going to be like three stitches. So Trigger finger surgery. Yeah. You know, I can handle... A little place. Well, tell them what happened to you last night. Oh, yeah, last night. It has locked up several times, and I've always been able just to force it open. But last night, we were sitting here. We weren't even doing anything. We are just sitting no, there talking. No, just sitting there talking, and my finger locked up, and I couldn't unlock it at all, and it was painful. That was probably the worst pain I've had with the whole thing this whole time. Now, you ordered those calendars directly from yes, Dollar Tree, Yes, I, I right? ordered these calendars directly from Dollar Tree. And I'm going to be putting one of these in the box that I'm mailing out tomorrow, and then I'll put another one in the next box that goes out uh, September 1st. So be sure and engage with this, with this video. Make those comments so you get in the drawing. We'll draw four names at the end of the video uh, mm -hmm. to go in the end of the month drawing. Okay, and I made this pretty muddy at the bottom because I wanted to look. I don't want this to look like it's new. Vintage. I want it to be really vintagey looking. F V. Faux vintage. Faux vintage, yeah. <laughs> Faux vintage. That's a really good word. Okay. Lisa's Faux Vintage Fabulosities. <laughs> You're really reaching, aren't you? <laughs> yes, I am. You see right there, I got on the bottom. And here on the top. Teresa likes the wax on the edges. Yeah, I think it makes it look better. Now I'm going to go ahead and put a coat of Mod Podge on the top of it to seal it. Oh, Brenda, you too, huh? Who's that? What was that? I missed it. Brenda Arndt has had the uh, injections too. Yeah. Now, let me tell you why. If it, it, it can't be any worse pain than the, in, than the um, injections. Said uh, she did a tendon release. And you won't like the first 24 hours, but you won't regret it. Okay, I'm just putting a light coat here on this. Anything that's in my brush, I am 
rubbing down. I think I pretty much got it all covered. Yeah, we're glad you made it, Debbie. Let me put my paints back on here. I don't want to make a big mess. Yeah, Terry, I agree. The wax on the edges looks really good. <laughs> What's that? Donna hasn't commented all this time, and now she says it's really cute. <laughs> K-E-W-T. <laughs> oh, Donna. Okay, let's go ahead and dry this. Long time no talk, Donna. I hope you're doing good. Oh, yeah, Carol. It was a good trip. We're going to have another one. Um, and I posted the picture. And it is going to be November the 12th to the 14th. We're all having a barn roundup trip starting in Metropolis, Illinois, which is on this very southern tip. But as the last count, I think I counted 30 crafters that's going to be there. So I'm excited for that one. I may make it. Hey, Debbie, I'm doing pretty good, actually. You can figure out how to work around your dialysis one day. I know, day. I'm trying to. Well, you had a bunch of husbands this last time, didn't you? Yeah, a bunch of the husbands went this last time, too. There was, I'd like to meet uh, Terry's husband was there. Uh, Sherry, uh, Sheila's husband was there. Hey, Delina. Dina's husband was there. Kenny was there. Teresa Crane says, yes, me too. <laughs> there we go. That is good and dry. And I pulled some ribbon. Whoops, there went my earpiece. I pulled some ribbon to make a... tie on it, but I think I'm just going to leave it just like this, just pretty simple. I think if I try to put a ribbon on it, I'm going to hide something. Terry Wald, first time watching from Ohio. Welcome, Terry. I may put this in a, um, make this like a leaner in the back behind on my shelf. I think that would be cute or in there with my pumpkins that I made the other day. Now, somebody asked me what a magnolia stencil was and I have this sign right here that I made a few weeks ago. Jackie, we will keep your husband in our prayers, needing answers about his heart. This is what a magnolia stencil is right here. It did the wording here and we have our pumpkins right there. Is Metropolis the town with the neat shops, Cookie is asking. Oh my gosh, yes. There is so many neat shops. There are it's it's the land of Superman. Let me put it to you that way. They have a huge well, yeah, Metropolis. Superman. Um, I mean, he's huge. That's his hometown. On the um, court, I guess it's their courtyard steps. I've hey, got Jerry a picture West. of that. But uh, they've got several different you know, places you can stick your head in and everything. But almost every shop on that one little strip is some sort of an antique store, an archaeological, uh, architectural um salvage place there is the shop where Casada has her merchandise 606 market um big plug for Casada. I, I mean there is just there is one there's not a shop on there that doesn't have some kind of vintage thrifting if you're if you're looking at the state of illinois okay or anything i mean it's just crazy all the stores in it if you're looking at the state of illinois where would it be it's right on the very southern tip before it goes into the bridge that covers from there to Paducah, Kentucky. Kentucky. Okay. It's like 15 miles between the, the two cities. Gotcha. Jackie was asking. Yeah, it's it's crazy. She would love it. If she loves Superman, she would love that little town. Hey, Mitha, we're having an awesome day. How are you, girl? But anyway, let me give you one last look at this, and I think I'm going to probably just put this on um, the back of some of my candles and stuff. Yeah, Michelle, that's what Lisa said, too. Antique collector's heaven. <laughs> oh, it definitely is. I have a very large, well, it's not large. It's about this wide, and it's about five feet long of that vintage metal that I bought. I don't know what I'm going to do with it, but I'm going to do something with it. She's looking at me, y'all, and I haven't even seen it yet. <laughs> it's out there on the porch. I didn't even bring it in the house, oh. but it's chippy paint, and it, I mean, it's just gorgeous. 
if you saw Sheila of Simply Simple Designs with Sheila, she did these little bitty, um, uh, Brenda, if you can send me a message that way I can find it, I definitely can give you the information. Yeah, just send her a, a PM. Yeah, Sheila had these little bitty blocks that has a little circle indention. He, this guy salvages everything from old buildings and he can tell you exactly where he bought or salvaged any piece of lumber that he has in his shop. Yeah, it really was neat, Debbie. Very neat. But anyway, guys, this is what I had for you tonight. Hey, Joe Burns. And Joe Burns, did you get my message? Now that I think about it, I sent you a message as well. But this is the one we did tonight with a Dollar Tree calendar and a Goodwill surface. And a little paint and a little bit of antique wax. And that is all there is to it. And uh, for those of you that are oh. wanting to know about the encouraging word of the day, uh, we'll have more information on that this week. And I'll probably be starting it back the first of next week. Yeah, it may be some different times. But his, his dialysis is uh, times have kind of leveled out a little bit. Okay. And they're fluctuating again, but we'll work around it. Yeah. A lot of people are wanting to do that. so. We're okay, Joe, I'll check it. that. Get my hands on some calendars. Brenda, check out Dollar Tree's website. They may have them back in stock. Hey, that first go round. Oh, we got to draw names. Yes. I almost forgot. No, I haven't forgetting. Forg forgetting. You haven't forgetting? I haven't forgetting. Did, did. <laughs> okay, let me find a marker here because Emma Grace is really good about coming up and... Debbie is not Take getting notifications. Up. Remind me what we have to do to get back on notifications again because it got messed up. Okay, Debbie, um, that's happened to all of us. Go out and unfollow me and then check your settings, unfollow me, and then follow again. Because sometimes when we switched over onto the new pages, it did that. Well, then on that last update, too. There we go. All right. He's going to grab four names here and we'll put in our little book. Uh, no crystal... Uh, COVID isn't having any <clears throat> hey, bearing from on Iowa. it. They have, an, they have an actual shift that is just their COVID Yeah, thing. just a yeah. So, yeah. And then hey, Judy. They sterilize everything before the, the next people come in. Yeah. Yeah, it's running wild here. That too, is Crystal. here, too. All right. We're going to okay. scroll for some names. Here we go. Crystal Barefoot. First name being drawn today for the drawing at the end of the month, which is coming fast. It really is. It really is. Uh, second name is Sharon West. Sharon West. The third name is uh, Kathy Roach Oberst. Kathy, what was the name? Roach, R O A C H, O B E R S T. <coughs> Spell it last name. I can't hear you. O B E R S T. Okay. Okay. And. The last name for today is Delina Craighorn. Craighorn, sorry. D E L I A. No, D E L I N A. I N A. Delina. Delina. Craighorn. C L E G H O R N. Okay, it's four more names we got into our book. And we'll have our next drawing on September the 1st. Well, actually, we'll probably have it on. The 30th, because I will be gone the September 1st. Hey, Cindy. I did meet to have a really good trip. It's very relaxing, too. Okay, Brenda, thank you. Brenda's going to PM you. Uh, thank you, Debbie. Anyway, you guys have a great evening. And Jeff and I were just saying a while ago, we're both so wore out. And I know mine's because of my thyroid that we are going to go to bed early, believe it or not. We well, never go to bed early. Well, I ever. got some new medications, and I'm oh. going to have to see how they work out, too. I can't just... It may be a rough morning tomorrow. I don't know. <laughs> oh, Debbie, I know. I thought about you wishing that we were coming back through hey, St. Sherry, Louis welcome. so that I could get meet up with you. Hey, and if you're thinking, gee, I wish they'd come to my area, hey, <laughs> they're, we're constantly planning new events and yeah. going to new places and seeing other people say... We may be in your area next. Yeah, you never know. Now, there was some talk among the crafters that we're going to do one more in Central USA, which 
is more going to be, let me get these calendars up before they fall, more in the um, Oklahoma area. Hey, Connie Petrosky, we're doing awesome. So that's what Chris Hunter and I are trying to get the next one to be somewhere in Oklahoma, probably around Oklahoma City. Thank you, Cindy. I think I caught up on everybody. Hey, you're, Michelle. I was going to say, your, your sister just popped on. Anyway, guys, I'm going to get off here and try to save what left I have on my voice. Because I want to come on tomorrow sometime and show you all the things that I got. And maybe I can talk my sister in coming up here with her stuff. And we can show you some of the things that she bought. That way I won't have to come upstairs. No, I'm just going to do it tomorrow afternoon sometime. Oh, well, I'm at dialysis probably then. Okay. Yay, Terry. I hope you can come to Oklahoma. But anyway, guys, you guys have a great evening, and we'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.